Hello and welcome. My name is 3D Modeler on YouTube. This first tutorial I'll show you how to use the basics sorry, the basic tools in 3ds Max. And the tools we'll go over today is move tool, rotate and scaling. And I'll go ahead here and create a box. Now, as you can see, I have a box here and when I go to the move tool, I'm able to move the box around in the scene back and forwards and side to side as well as up and down as you may have noticed here I'm using the different viewports the first one was the top this is the front view so that I'm able to see which directions that I'm moving in if you want to move the viewports uh, view you can press the middle mouse button and it will allow you to move around the scene to get a better fix on it. You can also zoom in and zoom out by using the wheel on your mouse. Now, so, and this is the rotate tool. And as you can see here, I can rotate it. I'll just go ahead and undo that. And this is the scaling tool. And I can scale it like so. Now, sometimes when you use the rotate tool, you're not able to get a fix on the degrees in the angle that you want the box to have. So and it can be a little bit irritating not to get it perfectly to 19 degrees I can try to do it here and I'm close oh there I got it but it can be a pain in the butt sometimes so what I'm going to do I want to show you how to snap it so you can actually use a tool called snap toggle in this case I'm using the one with the that indicates indicates the degrees and so now I can flip it in nine in five degrees increments so now it's easier to rotate your object and of course you can do that in all direction as well and so the same goes for the move tool you can hit the one that says free here and it will move the object in free uh, in in free increments as well as so like so and you're also able so now we're going to the scale tool sorry this is my first um, introduction so I'm a bit, little bit rusty here I hope this gets better with time so you can see now that I, I'm scaling the box and this can also be snap toggle to do it with a percentage so I'm just hitting the percentage tag here with the small magnet and as you can see it's, it will zoom in and out with the percentage that are selected. So that's the basics in 3ds Max. I'm a 3D modeler. Thanks for watching.